Hey everyone, this is D. John Loy coming at you with the last video for the Symbiote Spider-Man milestone event. And unbeknownst to me at the time, you're seeing what will be my last day in the alliance that I started the event with. And, well, obviously I was a bit disappointed to get kicked out of it. I knew it was going to come that I would have to leave, uh, but I was hoping to at least finish out the event uh, before that happened, but what can you do? And just to give you a bit of background, so I would never like alliances or clans or guilds uh, in any game. I'm a bit of a lone wolf. Uh, so I resisted when I started the game back in August 2018. But then that's when Fox Next introduced Stark Tech, and so you kind of actually had to have a uh, trustworthy alliance to progress. So... And that's when I got into Alliance and I was doing pretty well and actually stayed in for a year. Uh, they did have one mass exodus while I was in it that I was wondering like, hmm, maybe I should because there's some issues with the leader and that's what the people were who were exiting were saying. But I figured I'd stay on because the top player uh, obviously wasn't having an issue with it. And so, well, if it was good enough for him, it was good enough for me. And... As time went on, we were having issues trying to keep people, and I felt like we were constantly recruiting. And I actually promoted in the alliance and was pretty involved in various positions, such as a war strategist, as well as de facto recruiter. Kind of did it just because nobody else was really, you know, hitting the street on trying to get people in for all the different venues and so it seemed like every week I was recruiting somebody new because somebody else was dropping out or being kicked out from inactivity and the but the leader maintained that uh, it was a casual alliance and we were having certain people not actually following the rules but uh, and were keeping us behind uh, we got to a certain point that I felt we could have been able to uh, complete Ultimus 6 at 100%, but we, due to inactivity of certain members, uh, we were oftentimes struggling to hit 60. And so we were trying to, you know, like, like, hey, hey, we need people to be active and people, you know, contribute to the Alliance. That's the whole point of being in the Alliance. And, well, it was going on for too long, and the leader was kind of... Uh, trying to silence the, a bit of the gripes and complaints. But uh, eventually that top player, like I said, after I had been in the alliance for about a year, which was like four or five months ago, uh, he finally left, and that then caused a greater exodus. To the point that we actually lost, like, well, the alliance lost like half its members, including myself. Uh... And actually, your scene right now is a mistake. Uh, Karnak and Sif were supposed to go up to level 40, and I thought he was 30, so I stopped and switched to Sif, like you see now. Then I realized my mistake here in a bit, and then go back to him and finish him up to 40. It's Heimdall that was supposed to go to 30. But yeah, so half the alliance vacated. Um, I followed the top player because we were amongst the top five or I think maybe top three of the players in the alliance and he invited me over to the alliance that just kicked me out uh, like I said four to five months ago and what, like I said the issue with the first alliance uh, was they're a bit too casual it was to the point like hey we can't keep being casual we're at the point that we need you know, more activity uh, from our players and we can't just be slacking back and not doing anything. We need to actually be engaging. Yet, the alliance that I ended up joining was a bit too active. Too much uh, life-giving to the uh, to the game itself. And see, this is where I'm fixing my mistake with Karnak. And so I knew that I couldn't last long in it because, well, about a month ago I knew I couldn't last very much longer in it 
and so I was like, okay, well, when is the time to leave? And I wanted to leave gracefully. I didn't want to get kicked or just like storm rage quit. So I was hoping to try to at least finish out the milestone event uh, before I did leave. But alas, that didn't happen. So uh, unfortunately, I didn't lose too much. Symbiote Spider-Man shards. Again, I was calculating 202 would be the maximum to get. Uh, I ended up getting 199. So, not really much to comment here. So, again, just a few more uh, characters had gotten to uh, new star level and then finishing up Karnak and then Sif is next And this is just finishing out the uh, goals that I had set, the farming milestones uh, before the event. Getting everybody according to their tiers, uh, according to the tier list from, I think it was patch 3.8 that Casino put out. Again, getting all the uh, people that got new star levels. Just spend, spend, spend. So I did uh, succeed in my milestones, and then uh, I think shortly here, you're going to see that now, at once I got Sif and Heimdall finished everybody to their uh, levels that I needed them to be. Uh, then I s switched gears to start building up my Dark Dimension 3 teams. I obviously figure that uh, Global is the first one, so focus on that team first. That being, of course, uh, Ultron, Phoenix, uh, Shield Trooper, Hela, and, well, maybe Hela was Cosmic, I forget. And, uh,. Mr. Sinister. So, I was only able to get uh, Ultron up to gear... Well, actually, he wasn't able to get all the way to gear 14 because I'm still missing pieces, but I maxed him out as much as I could, got him to level 75, as you'll see, and equipped him for, I want to say... 4 out of 6 pieces of gear. And then Phoenix, I leveled up to 69, I think. And got her to gear tier 12, almost to 12, uh, tier 13. And why am I focusing on global and not like, oh, you can go with the ones that closest. Like, well, my closest is, ironically, some city characters, which, like Jessica Jones and Magneto, who I won't be using at all, and Juggernaut. Uh, I won't be using, and so, and so, see, you actually hear, see here, Ultron starting his uh, upgrades. So I don't want to waste on those if I'm not even going to use them. Or in the case of City, it's going to take me so long to even get to the point where I can make a City team that I might not use Jessica Jones or any of the defenders, uh, which is basically the recommended team. Uh, defenders with uh, Symbiote Spider-Man. 
So that's why I'm focusing on, okay, what is the team I'm actually going to need slash use the soonest being the global team. And so that's what the team I'm focusing on now. But of course, since the event is now done and uh, don't want to spend as much gold, what I'm going to be focusing on is just buying the gold gear items that show up in the store that I actually need. I'm not going to upgrade anybody anymore. I'm going to just uh, try to hoard the upgrades. And there's a uh, chart there that flashed by. And here we start on Phoenix. So I just focus on uh, trying to buy the gear that I need. Because again, this event is going to come back around and 64 million will actually end up spending, you'll see here in a bit, 65 million uh, on the event. And so I kind of want to get back up to there. I obviously have some calculations on like, okay, how much did I get from Blitzazine and orbs and all that stuff, both the orbs that I had stacked up and the orbs that I opened during the event, at least for gold orbs. I wasn't tracking like blitz orbs or anything like that. And then get an estimate of how much I actually earned uh, through other daily items. Versus how much was spent and what I started out with. I think this is day 18 right now. Sorry, day 28. So we got up him up to four stars, so that was 180 shards right there. And we'll get another 19 shards, thus bringing my total up to 199. I don't think I really farmed Black Widow because I wasn't able to three star her node. So that was day 29. And then this is day 30, the last day of the event. Yeah, so these I will still be buying as uh, what I need for the characters I'm trying to farm. And only those. I won't be buying anything else. Again, won't be upgrading anybody either. So my roster will lock in as is right now. So yeah, it, here's the end of Spider-Man Symbiote Milestones. I'm left with 32.16 million, million left. Uh, Spidey got up to 199 shards. So, that's where we got. And then went up by about, I want to say, 350,000 power overall for my TCP. And let's take a look. 
here. So again, 65 million is realistically what we spent, about a million more than what was needed uh, between all the orbs that I had saved up beforehand and everything that I've opened since. Again, gold, mainly. Uh, was 16 million from the challenges during the event was 3 million. The payday event that occurred, 1.8 million. And then all the blitzing, which you'll see down here, just tracking, like, okay, each new blitz. And then the red and stars and the premium orbs, as well as calculating these. And this one particularly is calculating all those gear blitzes. So that's all total in here, which is about 4 million. So the total of that, what is this for? So this, again, this is how much I have now left over between this and that. And so doing some math, this is about how much I earned daily from just my daily activities, farming and other orbs, uh, and just you know, the small bits that are like in like, I don't know, like uh, the milestone orbs or ultimate swords. I'm not sure. I can't remember off the top of my head which ones actually do it. Again, it took 15 days to actually unlock uh, Spider-Man. I finalized with 199, three away from my goal, which isn't too bad. And so what I'm left with now, looking for to the future for the next event, is, again, get the characters that I need ready for Dark Dimension 3, get them up to, obviously, level 75, uh, and this is based upon the priority matrix of who to bring up to <clears throat> tier 4 for abilities, excuse me. And then obviously get them up to gear 14 because that's a requirement. Lovely. And that's obviously calculating how much gold and ability uh, mats that I'll actually need. As well as training mats, but I think I should be good as long as I'm not spending anything else. And so at least need to get back up to 47 million gold uh, to be able to cover all that. But what I'll also need to be doing is, of course, get all of this purple in the uh, orange gear column to be green. And I'll say I'm good for everything else, uh, all the other gear. You just need to farm this. Uh, so most of my farming day will be all the nodes in the heroes campaign that I have three starred and once the villains come out and whatever I can three star there uh, now that I've finished upgrading everything I'll probably try again with the new challenges I wasn't successful before as well as the heroes campaign try to see just what I can do I haven't uh, up my Stark tech since uh, the event started because I just wanted to keep the numbers straight on how much I have increased uh, strictly from my farming but this is what I'll be focusing on and trying to get before the next campaign next event starts is just get that gear ready so I can actually spend it on these guys so but that's all I have for now I hope I covered everything any lingering questions uh, and so this in, I'm figuring that they're probably going to keep this this way because even if you get 200 to so that will uh, get you over that five star but I'm it, it might not get you to uh, six star I don't think I'll have to do the math again but it definitely won't be seven starring from this event uh, a second go around. If they do a third go around, you, eh, no, I still don't think that will be enough, because that will still only be like 600, and you need 810 shards to bring a character from zero to seven stars. But I hope you enjoyed this series. Uh, let me know if you would like to see something else or have any questions. Leave them in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Bye.